Hi, I'm Adam Blythe and I'm here in beautiful sunny Scotland in Stirling, which is going to be hosting the time trial events of the first ever UCI Cycling World Championships. This is the start place where we're going to start the time trial and up there is Stirling Castle. The riders are going to be heading up there later and that's where they'll finish. So let's go and check it out. first 12 kilometers as they leave Stirling is flat and fast. A couple of little bumps to open the legs up a little bit, but for the riders, if they have a tailwind, it is gonna be a super fast section. I'm talking 60 kilometers an hour, 65, and a great chance to settle into your rhythm, but not go too hard early on. So we've just done 12 kilometers of the course so far. It's very flat, it's very fast. And if it's a tailwind from that start, it's gonna be rapid for these riders. I'm at the point now, 12 kilometers in, the ladies go this way and the gentlemen, the elites, they carry on that way to a lovely, pretty little village called Thornhill. So we're at the point now where the women, they come from this direction, rejoin onto the men's course who come round here. The men have just been through Thornhill and it's downhill, flat, fast roads all the way until this point. As they get round the corner here, the women turn left. They head towards Stirling, towards the finish line. The men, they take a right, do an extra little loop and they go through a town called Kippin. There is a nasty little climb there. So for the men, it's gonna test those legs halfway through this race. We're here at kilometre 35 and this is where the second checkpoint is. The riders at this point are going to be feeling it in the legs. It's a fast course. The climb through Kippen that they've just done, they've got a fast road down to here. And by this point, as I said, they will get a good idea of where they were at. For me, this time trial, this is where it really starts hurt. Rolling roads towards the finish in Stirling. And if you've not got anything in the legs here, you are definitely going to feel it coming into that final climb up into Stirling. This is a major point for the bike riders to get an idea of where they're at. I'm going to find out. We are just at the top of the hill in Canvas Barren. The rides are going to come up through here and enjoy these beautiful views. You've got Stirling Castle just over there. Although the rides are not going to be able to take in those views because they are going to be chewing their handlebars. At this point in the race, it's full gas all the way down to the finish. The twists and the turns here, the little bumps, they are going to feel every millimeter on the road and they've still got to get up to there. So we've arrived in the beautiful Stirling, just down there at one kilometre go now, just down there is where the start of the climb starts, up to that finish, 800 metres, gruelling climb right up to that finish line. The riders, just before they get down in Stirling, they've got some fast roads that they're able to recover on before they have that sprint, if they've got anything left in their legs, to get up that final ascent. So this is the last 400 metres of the time trial, a gruelling finish as well. They finished just up there, Stirling Castle, just around the corner, but as you can see, it's all on cobble. So it's really gonna be difficult for these riders. Steep gradients, after having been on the power all day long and then getting onto this and trying to squeeze the last bit out is gonna be brutal for these riders. Brutal for them, but gorgeous for us to watch the finish up at Stirling Castle. It's gonna be amazing. There you have it, this is the time trial finish and an amazing finish just in front of Stirling Castle here. It's gonna be an epic time trial, it's gonna be flat and fast, but this grueling climb up to the finish is really gonna be the decider for me, how much the riders have left in their legs to get up to this castle to win the race. Who's gonna win? I can't wait to find out. So make sure you watch the UCI Cycling World Championships in Glasgow, but all across Scotland as well. It's gonna be amazing.